Knock at the Cabin is the latest thriller from M. Night Shyamalan. A family of three are on vacation at a cabin in the middle of nowhere when four strangers show up and demand that they sacrifice one of themselves in order to prevent the apocalypse. M. Night is one of my favorite directors of the 21st century, so I was very excited to see this. I think that Knock at the Cabin got number four on my video for most anticipated movies of the year. One of the things that I love about his movies is that they are all almost under two hours. I think Glass is the only exception. And for the type of movies that M. Night creates, I do prefer that tight runtime. And Knock at the Cabin is definitely a tightly written and tightly edited movie. Even from the beginning, the movie is very quick to get into things. Within the first like under 10 minutes, Wen is outside catching grasshoppers, Leonard approaches her, there's strangers outside, and they start trying to break into the cabin. That leaves the remaining runtime for two things. First, letting the premise play out from inside the cabin. And number two, filling in the backstory for Eric, Andrew, and Wen. By the time we get to the end of the movie, we know exactly what we should be taking away from it because of the backstory, and the premise has reached its conclusion from within the cabin. When it comes to what happens within the cabin, I found it really fascinating how M. Night was constantly throwing information out that makes us doubt that the premise is actually true. And that's mostly done through the character of Andrew, who constantly throughout the movie is shooting down these theories and offering explanations for why this isn't actually the apocalypse. By the end of the movie, Eric believes that the four strangers are the four horsemen of the apocalypse and that they were sent to their family because of the pure love that they have for each other. The film does not explicitly confirm or deny whether Leonard's claims are true. It presents enough evidence that it could be true, but then it casts enough doubt on it that that it kind of leaves the audience to decide for themselves. But I don't think that whether or not the claims are true is actually important to the movie. I think the not knowing whether it is true or not is vital to our emotional understanding of what the movie is actually about. Knock at the Cabin, like many other Shyamalan movies, is about accepting a greater purpose. It's about having faith in something other than just ourselves. This movie actually reminded me of a recent movie called Left Behind Rise of the Antichrist. By the way, thanks for the hate comments on that review. And the fact that both movies are about an apocalypse and the filmmakers are trying to teach us about greater purpose and faith and spirituality. Except this movie is far better on a creative and technical level and it allows the audience to put themselves into it and take out of it what they need. There's no finger pointing, there's no lecturing, there's no outright dismissal of empiricism, and there's no condemnation. It's simply M. Night telling us that we should believe in something greater than ourselves and that we should have a higher purpose, but doesn't tell us exactly what that should be. Also, here's my theory on the events of the movie. Remember at the beginning when Wen is catching all those grasshoppers and putting them in the jar and she's taking all these notes down and she says something along the lines of, don't worry, I just want to study you. Well, I think that aliens triggered the apocalypse and they sent the four horsemen to the cabin. And they did this because they wanted to study humans the same way that Wen wanted to study the grasshoppers. And they did this by testing their devotion to the greater good. It kind of reminds me a bit of The Abyss by James Cameron. Anyways, I thought this was a great movie. Certainly not one of my favorites by Shyamalan, but he's proven himself yet again to be an extremely empathetic and talented and ambitious and creative filmmaker. That's why I'm gonna give this movie a score of eight out of 10. M. Night Shyamalan ranked. That's a that's a, not a movie, it's a show. It's not a show, it's a YouTube video that's coming out at the end of the week, I hope.